Why dating in your 40s is challenging. Your 40s can be a period of experiencing either the highs of a successful life and marriage or the lows of a major heartbreak or divorce. This phase often involves relationship counselors, job responsibilities, promotions, children, and overall change. Dating in your 40s is challenging because it involves not just love but many other crucial aspects of a relationship. Let's explore the challenges of dating in your 40s. 1. Adapting to new changes. At a stage in life where you have gained significant experience and understand your preferences, changing for someone else can be challenging. It's natural to resist adapting to a person with entirely different tastes because, ultimately, you seek a comfortable and compatible relationship. 2. Divorce is complicated. Whether you are divorced or not, dating after 40 is often tricky and complicated. There can be unresolved trust issues to navigate. Some people begin dating immediately after a divorce or separation, which can lead to problems if they haven't moved on from their ex. It's crucial to be emotionally independent before entering a new relationship, especially at the age of 40. 3. Age Differences Sometimes women over 40 aren't interested in having children, while men still are, and sometimes the reverse is true. These differences often occur when there's an age gap between partners who start dating in their 40s, as people in this age group may seek younger partners. 4. Harder to meet people. Dating becomes more challenging compared to your 20s or 30s. It's harder to meet single people through friends since many of them are already in committed relationships. As you age, your circle of friends often shrinks, further limiting your chances of finding a date through social connections. 5. Judgments. It's not just societal judgments that affect you, you may also be harshly critical of yourself due to aging wrinkles or physical changes. You might think of yourself as less attractive or not as pretty, but this shouldn't be the case. Instead, focus on being confident in your personality. At this stage, people are often more interested in finding a partner for a meaningful relationship rather than being solely drawn to physical appearance. Things to do when your husband leaves you. Heartbreaks are undeniably devastating, and it's clear that they can be profoundly painful. Whether your partner hurts you through infidelity or by leaving, the emotional impact is immense, making life seem like it has come to a standstill. The pain is even more acute if you are married and have invested many years in the relationship. Discovering that your spouse is leaving you can be utterly shattering. However, it's crucial to regain your composure during this time. To support you, here are a few steps to take when your husband leaves you. 1. Do not beg. Hearing that your spouse wants a divorce can be utterly devastating. While it's important to understand their reasons, you should avoid begging them to reconsider. If they are requesting a divorce, it indicates they've given the decision considerable thought. There's nothing you can do to change their mind, and pleading will only diminish your self-worth. 2. Think about your family. Regardless of the country you live in, you have specific rights as a divorced woman. Whether it's regarding annual allowances, child support, alimony, or mortgage obligations, you have the right to claim what you're entitled to. Therefore, it's important to hire a skilled lawyer to safeguard your family's future. 3. Do not keep it inside. When your husband informs you that he's leaving, it's natural to feel anger toward everyone, yourself, family, friends, and the world. However, the worst thing you can do is to keep your feelings bottled up. It's essential to express your emotions. For your own well-being, allow yourself to grieve and release the pain. Mourn the end of the love you believed would last forever. 4. Keep your head high. There is nothing wrong with you if your marriage ends. You did everything you could to make it work, so give yourself credit for that. There's no need to justify yourself to others. Keep your head held high and focus on moving forward. 5. No blame game. Avoid blaming anyone, including yourself, for what happened. It wasn't your fault. Even if you believe your spouse is at fault, dwelling on it and arguing won't change the situation and will only harm your mental and emotional well-being. Accept your decisions and move forward with grace. 
6. Give yourself time to heal. Given that your life has been turned upside down, it's important to allow yourself ample time to regain a sense of normalcy. Give yourself the time you need to heal. Remember, while your marriage may be over, your life is not. You are still here, and there are people who love and care about you. 7. Faking it can help. The mind can be quite deceptive, often believing in things that aren't real while dismissing what is obvious. Try reassuring yourself that everything will be okay and that you will move past this. By consistently affirming this to yourself, you might eventually convince your mind to accept it as reality, creating a new perspective. Virtual Dating Mistakes to Avoid In an era where online dating is widely popular, mistakes are inevitable. Despite the abundance of dating advice available online, virtual dating can still be quite challenging. While it offers a valuable opportunity for introverts to connect, people can sometimes be too awkward or careless, overlooking the essential aspects of online dating. Here are some common mistakes often made in the realm of online dating. 1. Not thinking of safety. Dating websites and apps often have many fake profiles and misleading information. The risk of encountering fraud or deception is significant, as some malicious individuals use these platforms to target potential victims. Therefore, it's crucial to be cautious when reviewing profiles. Always verify the authenticity of a profile before engaging further. 2. Unrealistic pictures. People often spend hours perfecting their photos to present the best version of themselves. With everyone striving to look their best, photo editing apps have become increasingly popular. However, using fake or overly altered images only conceals your true self from others. 3. Boring messages. Dull messages don't stand a chance in the world of online dating. Sending uninspired or repetitive messages is likely to drive potential matches away rather than attract them. Similarly, sending creepy messages is a definite no-no, no one wants to feel pressured on dating apps. Instead, think creatively and craft messages that stand out and spark interest. This approach will capture people's attention more effectively. 4. Being picky. Being overly picky and rigid in online dating can hinder your chances of finding a match. Focusing too much on finding someone who meets your exact ideal may prevent you from connecting with individuals who could be great for you. Instead, remain open to unexpected connections and opportunities. 5. Lies. Misrepresenting yourself in your profile will not lead to lasting connections. Avoid lying about your appearance or personality. While pretending to be someone else might initially attract attention, it won't retain interest once your true self emerges. When interacting with others online, always be authentic and genuine. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.